What's going on YouTube? Uh, Eric here, Kentucky Pie Puffer. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but um, I've been really busy writing papers and stuff for school, but oh well, life happens I guess. Um, sorry. But um, I have a few pickups to show you guys. A few, like a week ago I went to a comic book convention and near the comic book convention place, the, uh, the, the center they there was a tobacco store, and I told my friend that I wanted to hit it up, and so we did. And I picked up a few things, um, first of which is uh, some tobaccos. I picked up, this is called Evening Stroll, All this, these, both these tobaccos are made there. It's a ribbon cut, they're both aromatic as well. Um, it has like a caramely vanilla f flavor to it. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, also... Um, picked up this. It's called All Day Long. Um, I smoked a little bit of it. I haven't smoked much of it, but um, plan on smoking some of this tonight when I get off work. Cause I just smoked a little bit of it. Didn't really get a. It's a aromatic as well. I'm pretty sure that it's a. Uh, as it says, All Day Long. So it probably doesn't have any very much tongue bite. What I could tell, I smoked the very bottom of the bowl and didn't really have much tongue bite. But also, um, I picked up my first corn cob. <laughs> didn't really drop it very far just right there hit my glasses that's what the noise was but um yeah it's gnarly I love it smokes pretty cool um never I don't own a cone cup so I bought it um it's a Mich Missouri Meerschaum um I'm not sure what style that is but um also yesterday um in the area I live in, there's a bunch of antique stores. And so I went to an antique store yesterday, and I picked up a pipe rack. And in it is a pipe that I bought there, too. I'll show that off here in a minute. But yeah, it's a, a six-pipe holder pipe rack with an ashtray holder. But um, I use it to hold my tens and stuff. So it's very nice. I bought it for five bucks. Can't really beat that. And then I bought this pipe. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It has a little, has a little, you probably can't see it right there. There's a little pipe. And it is a uh, Smoker's Pride. I'm not sure how old this is, but I mean, it is torn to shreds. You can't really see in there probably either. But um, I bought it just because it looked cool. I, m I probably won't smoke out of it. A. The stem, it's broken. It's broken down inside of there. But, I mean, it's just that. There's like a little, it's probably still smokable. Probably nothing really too much about it. But it's a billiard sitter. It sits. Let's get the, I don't know if you guys can tell me what you know about Smoker's Pride. I've looked it up and can't really find anything out about it, but it's a, it's a relief grain, so it's like sandblasted and whatnot. I really love this pipe. I love the way it looked, and it was like eight bucks. And it's the only pipe they had there. It's the only pipe I could find in an antique store. But yeah, so uh, those are my finds and my hauls and stuff. And where I got the tobaccos and stuff was in Huntington, West, Vir West Virginia. This place. Check it out if you're ever there. If you're ever in West Virginia near Huntington, check that out. Um, that's where we went for the comic book convention. I picked up a few comics. I'm a comic nerd. Um, picked, I love Batman, so I picked up a bunch of Batman comics, um, not a bunch, just a few to help my collection that I have, some of the detective comics, I need to, fin I finished off the part where Bane breaks Batman's back to the end of that, which is Nightfall, but, um, I need to get the first set of Nightfall, and then the first, um, basically 300, 400 editions of <laughs> the, uh, the detective series, so, uh, Thanks, guys. Uh, cheers. Let me know if you know anything about this pipe, really, or Smoker's Pride. Um, smells awesome. But thanks, guys.